I've been in the game now roughly around about 20 years. Seems a long time, but don't feel like that to be honest with you. Being involved in lots of professional clubs um, around the scenes early on in my career as a youngster. Um, then I got signed up by Swansea City. Managed to break through in, uh, onto a professional level and play, make my debut in the Football League. Since then I've been at numerous clubs, the likes of, sort of Newport, Exeter, Torquay, Forest Green, yeah, the list goes on, I suppose. I'm a bit of a journeyman on that side of things. But um, yeah, I was, so I've been lucky enough to do that. I'm fortunate to be involved in a professional game. Towards the back end of my career, I took on the, the pathway of uh, being a professional court um, to become then assistant manager, then obviously becoming a football manager in the national conference. And last year, I left that opportunity and that experience and joined the college, which has opened my eye, eye up to something different and um, really enjoying it at, at the moment. A great college. The students will be lucky enough to be coached by the UEFA B license holders. That includes myself, obviously, I'm looking to progress to do my A license um, in the near future. I've coached at a high level, obviously, working with professional footballers who have experienced Premier League, Championship, and, and had a you know, great experience doing that. And I've taken a lot of that and come into this industry now, which is the college, and trying to get a good blend of education and football. But most importantly, life skills. I think that that's key, you know, um, for these young boys because it's learning the trade as, as in, it could be anything, you know, outside of, outside of football, it could be just going to a job. Um, and we want to make them good people, but also have that experience of being a professional footballer because they'll get that.